Now, I was about to do another song, um, but let's, uh, let's... Wait a minute, this wasn't... Hello, I my name is Mr. Samson. I know, you don't have to introduce yourself to me every time. I'm not telling you, Dingus. I'm telling the potential new viewer. However, saying it out loud, I realize how silly that sounds. You know what? One new person is watching, so there. What do you need? What are you doing? Well, I don't think I want to tell any fairy tales today. I was thinking I'd go classic Mr. Samson and tell some jokes, which is why I've set up this microphone and this comedy club. Watch this. Uh, there's no time, Mr. Samson. What? How did you do that in your room? What are you yes, doing? I've been working on my Type 5, uh. so here we go. I didn't allow this. This is... Hey! My name's Mr. Samson, and I'm going to be doing some stand-up comedy. So, um, anyone here ever go on dates? Anyone? Anyone ever been on a date? Well, I was on a date yesterday, and it stuck to my pants. <laughs> the date stuck to my pants. I guess in Soviet Russia, date goes on you. Ah, but really, I like dating. I do, except with this one lady. Oh boy, she would not stop talking. So I cut her string. I cut the string that made her mouth move. So she shut up, you see. In my defense, she said I was a dummy, which is true for both of us. <laughs> but you know, I don't get respect. I just don't get respect. Which is why I never listen to Aretha Franklin. I just don't get it. But that's showbiz. You know, showbiz, right? Yeah, I used to be in the music biz. I had to quit. Sad, really. I was forced to quit the music business because of my terrible data plan. You see, I ran out of gigs. I ran out of gigs. Did you, did you hear about the parrot that erupted like a volcano? It was molting lava. Um, let's see, what else is in the news? Have you ever noticed how much we use wood? Maybe it's just me because I'm made from it, but I had a chip that was labeled as mesquite barbecue, mesquite wood flavored barbecue. Now, I don't know about you, but for my money, mesquite is the worst of all O's to have at a barbecue. <laughs> mesquite O's. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, mesquite O's eat you. You know, I knew a Russian guy. He was very easygoing. Yes, a very chill and easygoing Russian fellow. I suppose you could say he wasn't nitpicky. <laughs> yes, well, anyone caught up on politics? Now, I may be a dummy, but I can't hold a candle to those blockheads up on Capitol Hill. In fact, I can't hold a candle at all. It's dangerous and my hands don't work. <laughs> but did you, did you see those protesters? Some of those signs they had, let's just say, they could have used some help. I'm all like, who wrote these signs? Dan Quayle? Remember him? He misspelled a word. Good thing nothing rotten like that has happened since. Over up on Capitol Hill. Glad we're past that and we're able to heal as a nation. I think... Everyone in this country owes Dan Quayle a written apology. Not like he could read them. You know, my head is full of wood, but what is his? Full of rocks? What a head full of rocks. Dan Quayle. Well, and now, here's my humorous take on religion. No, 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 Mr. Samson, no. Well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. My name's Mr. Samson. Goodbye. He didn't run any of that past me before it happened. I apologize. Um, I, I gotta do something. Computer, please remind me to do something about him constantly calling in.